Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make an FPV helmet or a FPV helmet. And I have two different types of helmet. I've got this one here, cheaper, cheaper one. It costs around about $30. It was given to me by a friend, which I'm not going to use it because it doesn't have the extension, the detachable uh, face. And this is my old one. I bought it around about $80. And it's old now, it doesn't really work very well. So I'm going to use this one as, as, as a FPV helmet. Now, I think the helmet works better than the FPV goggles. And I think it's overall, it's a lot better. Because there's a number, quite a number of things. One of them is when you put a helmet on, the uh, goggles on, yep. You have to adjust it, adjust it, wriggle around and adjust it to get it to get it right, and then you fly. And another thing is, you get really squashed, sort of in the eyes, around the around this area. You get squashed, and also you could be you can get foggy too if if you have a, runs into a bit of problem like you know like um, you get a bit, a bit of scared, it will fog up. I think and with this one it's cheap and also it has a detachable uh, face it's a detachable face it's very good because because the helmet is bulky when you're transporting you use the helmet you, you, you use the detachable to take it out and put it somewhere or somewhere tidy and then when you go to the field, attach it back, and off you go. Right. And there's another good thing about the helmet because there's a few other good things actually. And one of them, when you have an airplane, just put up all this. And when the plane is flies, when it when it when when it ups in the air, if you want to see FPV, just go bang. Right. And then. If you want to see an airplane, just flick it up. Right, you can see your airplane. Yep. Another thing is, because air circling in here, so you don't get hot or anything. It's really good. That's right. And okay. Now today, I'm going to attempt to make this detachable face. I'm going to use foam just ordinary foam built off from this detachable face and I'm going to use my use my uh, mobile phone to use use as my monitor yes okay
Well, this one is dead. No longer, no longer operational. So I'm going to drop it out. Oh, I'm going to clean this later. But at the moment, this is only just a prototype, just experimental one. I'm going to check how much field. I'm going to get my phone. Where's my phone? It is. And this is one I'm going to use, this phone here. And this one here, it's about, about here somewhere, like that. It's about um, 100 mil, 120, maybe, maybe 150 mil. 150 mil is good enough, I think. So I'm going to I'm going to break this. No, I'm going to. I'm going to mark this one here around the shape. Oops. It's not looking very good. Let's come uh, right up a bit. So you see. There somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to cut along here then. Fit it right in there. And this is the glue I'm going I'm going to use to glue the uh, the foam to my helmet. And this one here just give me an idea how far I should put my camera and how high it is. And here I applied a bit of glue already. And here it is. I have cut it and slotted and put in there, glue it. I'm going to leave it overnight. And tomorrow I will build, build it a bit more. See, it looks like that, like that. And tomorrow I'm going to build it a bit more. Now I'm going to leave it and put a, a bit of pressure on it. Okay, this is how it looks like. Yep, and then I'm going to cut off about here and um, oops. I think I'm going to do um, I'm going to make a bit more reinforcement just across there and then I'm going to try I'm going to try the phone out to see how it looks like it's around about there somewhere like that or I'm not sure yet or maybe here, or maybe here. This bit here, I'm going to use glue, and this bit here, I'm going to use um, hot glue gun, hot glue, that is. So, So well, here I'm going to use glue. Let's we'll spread it out a bit more and I'm 
maybe I have to put a lot because there are gaps in there so I'm going to leave it for a little while and I'm going to Is it come off? Yes, it come off. That's good. Yep. Beautiful. See? And this is how I have to clean this bit off. And that glued. That should be glued all the way. Just going to put a bit more glue in it. See, so that's what it looks like at the moment, and um, this is the area. This is the rear area. I'm going to use my phone, it's going to be adjustable distance. So, because I'm not sure how far the phone is going to sit so I'm going to have the, 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 the distance from here to here they're going to be adjustable and this is the magnifying glasses or lens which is I bought it from uh, where I bought the helmet from So this is going to be in here somewhere. Going to be in, in here somewhere. And if it's not strong enough, this is only 2.5 magnification. And if it's not it's not enough, I'm going to buy maybe another two times magnification more. So it's going to be a nice and close. And yeah, um, this bit here I'm going to put a, a piece of plastic, clear plastic, so I can actually glue or screw this um, magnifying lens to it. Because of the width of the cam, the um, mobile phone is 70, 75 in width. 75 millimeters in width, so I'm going to cut this one here just a bit bigger. It's at 77, so the phone actually can slide it in 
right? This one is off just like that, and the phone can slide it in. Monitor. Yeah, the monitor is a little bit too high, a little bit too high, so I'm going to put it down about, um, about 10 mils. That's that should sit about 10 mils lower than in the top part here. So now I have the extends about 10 mils down here, along here. And then after that I'm going to spray with the paint, black paint. And we'll, we'll see what, have, what is going to happen. It was good before, but now I made it very ugly. See it? That's the inside of it. And this is where the, the phone is going to go in. A adjustable distance okay and now I'm going to spray which is I got the spray it's really good actually see I just bought this one here yesterday and it's uh, is water base water base paint so it is a matte black paint and it doesn't melt, so it doesn't melt the foam. So I'm going to spray it. So I'll spray the quarters first, all the quarters, or difficult place. It is a bit windy. That's it, I think. Leave it to dry. Yep, it's really black now. It is uh, matte black. So it is good. So you can't really see. Uh, swing around. And this is the outside. Yep. Here's the inside here. So this one you're going to cover. This bit here is going to be covered, and I'll do that later. Okay, it's already been sprayed. Now I'm going to close. Oh, it looks like this. I hope there's a big enough gap. I'm going to close this off. And I'm going to use glue and then hot glue along here. I'm going to use glue along here and then hot glue here. Along here. So, like this.
so it should be plenty, more than plenty there. Just a little bit here as well. That's more than enough glue there. And Close it off. And later, once the glue is dry, I'm going to cut of this part here and then you can use this bit here just close it off as well just right here like that so and then I'm going to try my mobile phone and see what what's happening I should be strong enough there While I was waiting, while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I just bought a diopter lens, two of them. This one is 2.5 and this one is 2. So I'm going to sandwich together. That's right, sandwich together and between these two, there's going to be another lens. This is a lens here and then sandwich together like, like that and then I'm going to put it in this way that's right so that's how, that's what I'm going to put it just right there this is where my phone is going to go just right here it's going to be a slot so I can slide in from here and I'm going, to, I'm going to have three slots, one here, one here, and one here. Okay, there. I have one here, one here, one here, and one here. So, so the, the, the phone actually slide in easily. Now I'm going to put I'm going to put a slot or groove along here and along here and I'm not sure you can see it not along here and along here so I can actually slide the phone in and then I'm going to put two both one piece of foam both side this side and this side and also on on this side too in each slot which is this one here this one and the the last one. So the slot here I'm going to use a soldering iron just burn straight through here. Hopefully it will, it will burn it nicely. I was going to use I was going to drill four four holes. Right one, two, three, four and hold it together but now I changed my mind I'm going to use the um, hot glue just one touch here, touch here, touch here, touch here and this side also just glue it together because this way it's easier if something wrong I can actually pull it apart and relocate it the um, biopters, biopter lens
This is the clear lens from the um, from the welding helmet. And this one here, bio-opter bio, 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 lens, sorry. coming out <sighs> why is it so hard there it is and this side as well or what no this side is alright so I'm going to Which, which way is which? This is a flat way. Okay, I'm going to tack a bit of glue in each corners. Oh, I've got a bit of stuff in there. It's coming out. Looks like there's a glue inside. It's from the outside. I think it's from the outside. That's good. No, there's another one. Now, you're able to see a lot closer now. So this one here, because this is about 8 mils, 